All right, closing out the AAC is the USF Bulls. Jeff Scott, uh, in his second season last year, was a terrible year to have your first year as a first-time head coach. I will tell you that. Went 1-8 and eight last year. They went 4-8 and eight the year before that, Charlie Strong's last season. Their win total this year sits at 3. To go over, juiced at minus 105. To go under, juiced at minus 125. That, of course, means that the sportsbooks believe that it is more likely that they go under as opposed to over. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, I tend to agree. Yeah, looking I do at too. the schedule. I do too. Uh, start out with at NC State and then hosting Florida. That is not how you want to start. They got BYU in there. Yep, they got BYU. Like their first after. three of the four games is against Whew. big boys. Yes, that is rough. Uh, it was a terrible year for his debut, like I said. Uh, offensive coordinator Charlie Weiss Jr. and defensive coordinator Glenn Spencer. He basically picked up Florida Atlantic when Lane Kiffin left and just moved him over to Tampa. Uh, but they didn't even have time to implement their defense and offense. Like, they didn't – there was just no time. Um, offense has got nine starters back now, so that's good for for Weiss Jr. That's a, a big thing. Uh, quarterback Cade Fortin transferred in from North Carolina for last season, got injured super early, didn't even really get to throw a pass. Um, you know, had a season ender, and now he's back. So that should be hopefully good things. Jordan McLeod, the, I guess, returning quarterback, he's transferred out. So, you know, whole new thing going on in Tampa. Defense got nine starters back, but uh, as they say, uh, old trash is still kind of trash. Like, not to not to completely crap on the Bulls here, but I, I do expect Jeff Scott to, to do better going forward. I think that we'll be better, and I think he's going to recruit fine there. Everybody recruits in Florida. Yeah. Um, and, and this is a place where you can recruit and you can do well. I, I just think this conference is really good. Yes. That my, yes. my argument for the teams that I have at the bottom are this conference has gotten significantly better, and they are either at the beginning of their new rebuilds, which puts them significantly behind the A-ball, yep. or that they just aren't on the same level right now. You're 100% right. But this conference is... It's brutal. If if all of these games... I picked a lot of teams to go over. There's a really good chance that all of them go under because they're just going to cannibalize one another. Yeah, I think so. So I'm, I'm rolling under three here. You doing the same? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would too. I just don't think that there's... Um, I just don't see a lot of hope for this season. I think that this That's is it. a good building That's block. That's it. Yeah. No. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.